Everyone has a physical body, an emotional body, and we all have a soul as well. And I think that in modern psychology, people have forgotten that. And I think what's happening during David's meditations is people are actually having these spiritual experiences that involves their soul uh, coming to new levels of awareness. And I really do believe that the music itself, his channeling it, his being the guide, so to speak, really does help people to open up spiritual self so that we can connect to the higher consciousness. I went up and met two women that I understood to be Virgin Mary and um, Mary Magdalene. We just see over and over at these events people having profound sense of inner peace, having a profound sense of, of centeredness and hope for the future. Probably 80% of the time people walk out of there feeling just very elevated, uplifted. My only child passed four and a half years ago and I have felt my heart really heavy and I felt like Sean was coming back and there was, wasn't in a physical form but just saying, Mom, you gotta let this grief go because you're keeping me down here and I want to ascend. As the music went, I could feel him ascending and my heart feels better, it feels lighter. Music is very special because music bypasses the neocortex of the brain, which is the thinking part of the brain, and so it, it hits us on a primal level. By trade, I'm a psychologist and a nurse and a social worker, and now with all this spiritual development, I have a spiritual counseling practice and an advanced energy healing practice, and I love using David's CDs in my sessions with people because it just quickly relaxes them. The flutes are so calming and harmonizing and, and comforting. I know that it slows their brain waves. Like it takes them to the theta, takes them out of this, out of the realm of, of you know, the monkey mind and, and the racing and they don't even know it. I could feel the notes in my body. His music actually has um, a power in it that is able to like enter into your body and create a change, an opening for greater good. I wanted to see my grandmother and my auntie, and I did. Yeshua and Magdalene and Mother Mary were there. Jesus and Mother Mary were there for me as well, which is kind of cool. Um, but they were really just there to introduce me to my high school friends that have died. I had ascended masters that came down and they were around me. And Archangel Michael came in first, and Raphael, Uriel, Gabriel. I had a complete conversation with Mahatma Gandhi. A good friend of mine that had killed himself came through. The Archangel Gabriel. My late husband came to me, reassuring me how blissful his existence was now. This really beautiful young woman showed up. I think it was my guardian angel. I was surprised because I saw Jesus. We chatted a little bit and, and really the message that was coming through was for me was to not be afraid. I'm not alone. <laughs>